Hello and welcome back. This is video number four. And we're going to talk about the ring, which is the strategy. So in the previous video, we discussed why having different social media properties interlinked together can help Google see you as a brand who is sharing your content to your audience. In other words, these aren't just random backlinks, but links from big sites that are branded towards your company. And this is why this is super targeted and is much more powerful than a simple backlink. Makes sense? So now let's take a look at what this looks like in real life. So let's head on over to our nifty mind mapping software. I'm gonna map things out so that you're gonna be able to visually see how it all works. Okay, so to better understand how this works, we're going to map things out. Now, before we map things out, I want to start with some basics. And let's just pull this out here. So essentially, the concept here is as you're building your brand, you're going to have many different social properties. And let's say, for example, this is the Facebook fan page so that that's your fan page and we've got the YouTube channel over here because the, that is our end goal is to have our YouTube channel get ranked higher so essentially what we're doing is we're getting a backlink from this to here and this could be Facebook, it could be Twitter, it could be Instagram, it could be any other social media platform. And it, But it has to be branded towards you. It can't just be somebody else's fan page unless it is actually related. But if it's related and if it's branded as yours and it's linking to your YouTube channel, that essentially is a vote of confidence, but also it shows YouTube that you're interlinking. So that's basically the concept here. Now, if we dig a little deeper, basically what we want to set up is every time we upload a YouTube video and it gets posted, maybe it gets posted publicly, what ends up happening is we push that YouTube video and get it embedded onto the Facebook fan page, the Twitter page, the WordPress page, and all of that. So we'll put Twitter. And we'll do WordPress. So as you can imagine, you've got the centerpiece here. You've got different social media platforms that are posted. Now, there isn't a necessarily a set rule where you have to post it to X amount of social media properties. It can be five, it can be 10, it could be 20, it could be different social media platforms. But in order to execute this and get it correctly, you will need to make sure that the platform that we use to automate this process actually supports that specific social media platform. So essentially this is what works and this is basically what it is. So obviously in order to get this to work, you'll need to have a YouTube channel, you'll need to have the Facebook fan page, you'll need to have all these items in hand. So you'll need to have the username and password and all that. And we'll talk more about account creation later, but I just wanted to give you kind of a gist of what everything looks like and the visual map of it all.